Embroidery has so many options, and if you have a computerized embroidery machine, you're in for a treat because Kate, the Festival of Fruits, has a variety of luscious and beautifully designed words plus the actual fruit and bud. They are wonderful designs. The, as you can see, the thread colors are just glowing. Mm -hmm. They look very realistic. Uh, we've actually used this collection of designs on several table setting projects. Right here is a napkin, and as you can see, we've used this design, the current design, letter and words and the fruits, mm -hmm. right on the napkin. One simple, what we like to call, plop and drop design. Very simple, Nancy, yes. But we promised an embroidery lesson with this little introduction to Festival of Fruits, and the embroidery lesson is going to involve splitting the design and the words. That, Maybe not splitting, but just using portions. Right, right. And we'll show that in just a minute. This is a placemat that's using that technique. We've used just the words around the three edges and embellished the upper border with the fruits. Then for, as Kate mentions, the fruit salad of the design, we have every fruit and blossom featured in this gorgeous table runner. And the concept of the embroidery tip of splitting the design or only using portions of it is really evident in this one corner that we're going to talk about. Yes, we'll be showing how we've built the corner or edge of the table runner and it will start by marking your place, or I should say your table runner. Mm -hmm. We've decided that we wanted to leave a blank area. About three-fourths of an inch. Right, mm -hmm. right. Keep it consistent. Mark with a removable marking pen. And then we've actually printed templates on a translucent material so that we can see our marking just faintly through each template. We've arranged the templates to fit within mm -hmm. our marked edge. Let's just peel back so you can okay. see the finished result and you have them aligned. Right. And this is the arrangement of templates. But as you can see, in the first example that mm -hmm. you showed Nancy where it was finished, only the word current or the word cherry showed. Right. What we're going to do is show how we use the complete design, mm -hmm. just stitching the words. And here's a hooped table runner, the one we were just working with, and you can see that it's in the hoop, and we're just about ready to stitch, but before stitching, Kate, we need to advance through to the word cherry. You'll see the design with the cherry, the word, and mm -hmm. the fruit. We're going to scroll down and jump over or skip the colors for the cherry and the leaf until we get to the word cherry, and we'll simply stitch that one color, and we have our cherry word embroidered on the table runner. And as this is stitching, you'll see that we've bypassed the bloom portion, and you could reverse it. You could stitch, bypass, or stop stitching before you hit the word cherry. So you can do this to any design, but it's good to know yes. you just can advance those thread colors. That's right. It's a very easy way to customize an embroidery design. I hope you've enjoyed seeing Festival of Fruits and Kate's great embroidery technique. This is a fun one. It's very easy and, as you said, very versatile for other collections. I hope our viewers will enjoy it and use it often. I'm sure they will. Festival of Fruits, available from Nancy's Notions, is an embroidery collection that will tempt your taste buds and provide a harvest of embroidery options. If you order today, it will soon be on its way.